dramatic increase in our state's projected budget. In June, officials thought we'd bring in about $6.2 billion in fiscal year 2021, but new numbers show we could see $460 million to $1.35 billion more than that. It's a good place for us to be. We can see that uh, the economy is, is improving. Uh, we can see that those federal stimulus checks really made a difference when it came to stimulating the economy. Democratic Representative Patricia Lundstrom chairs the House Appropriations Committee. She says she'll take a conservative approach when planning the budget. The good news is, is, is good for people to hear. Uh, the things are, things are coming back and it's a slow process. But um, when we get into the final revenue projection number in December, when all that's presented, that is the hard number we'll be working with. Experts say it's unclear what the budget will really look like because of the COVID-19 pandemic and fluctuating oil prices. Governor Michelle Luan Grisham has already asked most agencies to cut their spending by 5%. Republican Senator Santa Cruz says that's not enough. I would rather err on the side of caution. I really think what we should do is manage what we do have some control over, and that's the spending part of our budget. And I would argue that, you know, we've grown state government by over 20% the last couple of years. We should perhaps dial back the size of government and cut spending back to approximately where we were a couple of years ago. Officials attributed the increase that we're seeing to federal assistance and a new tax on items sold online. Lawmakers will meet again in December to get another update. Officials also stress the need to stabilize the budget moving forward since a large portion of the state's income comes from the oil and gas industry. Lawmakers will have a 60-day session starting January 19th. All right, Patrick, thank you very much. So we want to take a look.